Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll discuss an important topic in solution management in Power Apps. In solution management, most of the times when we create a solution and export the solution from development environment and deploy the solution in the in production environment or distribute to other party environments, then sometimes when it is imported, you get some dependency errors, right? So how to resolve that? So let me create a new solution to showcase this issue. Let's say I want to give a name demo solution one. Okay. Now in here I can choose a publisher of my choice. Let me choose my publisher here and click on create. So initially it will be unmanaged. Okay. So click on create. Once you click on create, the solution will be created in your current environment. Okay. Now when it's, it is created in your environment, you can add existing components or you can create new components start from scratch okay well let me create let me add an existing table or component that is available in my solution so click on add existing and i want to add a table in my solution i want to move that table to upstream environment so i can search here let me use let's say doctor and this doctor is nothing but the table that I am searching for right so if I'll click on just search doctor I may not find that but you see these are many entities that is available I want to take this entity with me as a part of my uh, project deployment so I'll select this and click on next and I'll include all objects and metadata because I need to move everything about this table to my upstream environment. So I have chosen include all objects. Now when I select all objects, the table with all column information and assets will be included in my solution, right? Now when I move this solution to target environment, first of all, it may fail because you have to first check, is there any dependency available for this component in current environment and that is not available in target environment let me check here to check that i can go here and check here show dependencies if i click on show dependencies you will find a list of components that is displayed here which are dependent on this component so these are the entity relationships which are dependent on the component that you are adding in your solution. So you understand which things are uh, required for your component. So if you think that these components are already there in the target environment, no need to add in your current environment. But if you, if these components are not in target environment, then you have to add as a required object or dependencies in your current solution. So what do you do? Click on this option advanced and add required objects. Okay. I have selected the component and clicking add required objects. Otherwise you can click on this table here, all components and directly right click the component table and add required objects. So click on advanced and add required objects. If you click on show dependencies, it will display the dependent components which are dependent on this doctor requirement table okay now best practices always add required objects if you think that the dependent components are not available in target project target solution so click on target environment click on advanced and click on add required objects now click on ok now if you click ok all the required components which are dependent on this table is added you see this two table is dependent on this doctor appointment so it is added right now i will go to the second component which is just added and check if there is any uh, dependencies there so i'll go here and click on add advanced and click on add required objects i can check the dependency before adding required objects but it's because this is a new project i am creating so i don't think that all the objects are available in my target environment now it will keep adding all required objects of this component. This exercise to be done, 
by developers while exporting the solution from development environment to target environment. Otherwise, while importing the solution, it will show error. By notifying that some objects are missing which are dependent on your current solution components. So first component I have added required objects. So it added two more components. Again, I am selecting the second one and adding all required objects. So I'm expecting it will add all required objects that is part of the that is dependent on this current component. So let me just go to the all component and add required objects. So click on this and advanced. I can first check show dependencies so that it will display list of dependencies. It is taking time, so we have to wait. Right, so these are the dependent components. So what I will do, we'll also do the same process. Add required components, required objects. Now it is done. Next, I'll go to the third entity and try to add required objects again because there might be some other components which are dependent on this. Again, the fourth one, I'll add advanced add required objects. This way, we are just uh, uh, ma making sure that when it will import, it will not fail. Now, total four components are there, which are dependent to each other, okay? Next thing is, you always remember, whenever you are exporting a solution, you have to go to advanced and run a uh, run a uh, solution checker tool. So go to the uh, overview section and click on run check. Solution checker is a tool which will help you to troubleshoot potential errors that may be occurred while importing. So this run, solution checker should be enabled while exporting the solution so that before importing you can check if there is any potential error that are uh, that may occur in import phase so it is still running once it is success it will display a list of uh, uh, items that are potential issues And if once it is success, you can export the solution. Let me export the solution. And I can click on next. And I can choose public manager version and click on export. You see run solution checker on export. If you do not export this also, do not run the solution checker here also. While exporting, if you enable this, the solution checker will run and display the uh, potential errors while exporting the solution. It will not export until unless the solution checker is passed. So currently exporting the solution, you have to wait for some time until it is success. So let us wait for some time. You see guys here it is saying solution checker is completed and there is no critical error no high dependent high uh, high uh, issue found high impact issue medium impact in medium issue found low issue found so there is no issue found in the solution checker now download is ready you can click on download and once you download you can save it in some folder let me store it here and once it is done, let me check if it is st 
stored or not if it is not stored you have to again download it let me go to the download and check if it is downloaded or not save it I want to keep it in the desktop okay now it is downloaded and I can go to the other environment let me go to other environment by switching here I can go to let's say copilot test environment here I want to import the solution so I'll go to the solution and try to import the solution that I have downloaded so this one let me rename this demo solution 1.1.1.0 now I can open this and click on next once you click on next it will check if the solution is ready to to be imported then you can click on import so that it will successfully import the solution and all the component which are part of the solution will be imported now at this moment if you have any dependency issues it will show error it will not let you import it okay it will take some time to import it now the import will be success so that's because we have done all the necessary dependency resolution in development stage while exporting and running the solution checker now it is not showing any issue while importing the solution in my target environment now you understand how this uh, solution management and uh, dependency resolution and required object addition uh, and solution checker is working right so if you just keep on refreshing uh, it will just upload the uh, solution and you can find that solution in managed option because you have imported a managed solution right so if you click on the managed flag here on the top it will display the managed solution that you have just imported so click on the solution it is still importing so click on managed you will see your solution here in this list so the solution the name of the solution is demo it is not yet installed it is still important so it will take some time so the latest one will be installed on the top of this so importing solution takes some time depending on the solution component count available in your solution because you are uh, i have added uh, uh, multiple uh, multiple uh, new components table so it takes time otherwise the small components it doesn't take that much time okay so let's wait for some couple of seconds and see if it is importing still the message showing currently importing the solution now there are also many other concepts available around the solution management okay it is not that much simple and it is not that much complex also there are managed there are unmanaged solutions that we can go through understand the differences right why i have exported as managed solution what was the problem with unmanaged so so many things are there if you want to join live training also you can join okay otherwise you can go through the youtube videos other technical youtube videos so if i'll refresh again let me check if it is importing or not really import successfully because uh, the, the check gates are already completed so there will be no problem right now to import the solution so you can check in your machine if it is having an issue or not but it will take some time okay so hope you understand how dependency resolution is working okay see you guys next time bye